that. Uh, you can move and attack if you want. Uh, if, if you attack. Since you're probably going to be hitting things with your greatsword a lot, uh, yes. you probably need to move up to them to hit them so that, that you're next sense. to them. Uh, you've already so seen, well, you've, you've heard the half-elf take a bit of a spill. Yes. Uh, once, you, <laughs> <laughs> once you enter the room, if you move three squares or more, I'm going to have you make an acrobatics check to see if you can hold your feet. Okay. So, do I roll? Uh, for moving, you don't have to do anything except move your figure where you want to go, but your speed is limited to six squares. Okay. So, so maybe just go to the closest two, one. Three. Uh, should I go check him out? One, yeah. Five, six. Like or can you, is there a way he can get next to it? Uh, next to the statue? Yeah, or is uh, it where he, he can't, ought to be No, because right? he's occupying that square. Right. Uh, so it, you started here. If you yeah. went one, two, three, four, over the uh, drum yeah. to here. Yeah, oh, I do let's that. do that. Drum? You could. Oh, okay. It's, uh, you can make a diagonal move, too. Yeah, yeah, that counts as well. yeah you totally could. But because you're going more than three squares on the ice, I'm going to have you make an acrobatics check. Uh -huh. Which is plus zero. More comedy. More comedy. Ten. And that's enough. You get to where you need to be. <laughs> Such skill I've never seen. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he says looking oh, yeah. up from the ground. Uh, okay, then you have a couple choices at this point. You can either attack the statue or attack the drum. You don't want to attack the half-elf. He's... Yeah. If you take out that drum, there won't be any more noise. <laughs> no one has instigated anything with us. <laughs> <laughs> why do you even go over there? Get to the door. I no, that, that banging hurts. Yeah, well, you don't know. That, that could take ten more turns before they do it again. We don't know. We were well, told you think they were welcoming us? Out of this we did. We did. Um, so the drum or the guy, right? Or the, uh, the L, uh, whatever he is. Yeah. We'll uh, never disable all those drums before... He, they smash them again. We've got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, do I have to hit something? No. I don't know. But you, you got to. You and I don't know anything. We're just like, you two are shouting this across the drum. <laughs> Listen, but keep in mind you're a, you're a barbarian. So what would your character do? He yes. probably hit the this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's always the. You're not a fey little elf. He takes up yeah, his big great sword. Ah! Now you're making an attack roll. Uh, your greatsword attack is a plus seven. All That's right. playing a role. <laughs> eight. So eight plus seven is 15. That's going to do it. And you do uh, 1d10 damage. Your d10 is here. And you add four to it. I'm sorry. So I... I... Yeah. So now you're rolling damage okay. to see how gotcha. much damage you do to the statue. Eight. Eight plus four 12. is 12. Uh, that damages the statue, but it still looks like it could still function. I'm sure it could. It needs to take more than that. All right, and Good that's check. the Goliath's turn. On the next turn, it is Bluebell. Wow. The well. <laughs> Run. You, you are staring down this horrid construct. I am. Now, I, wanna, I have six speed, so I'm just going to head this way. Okay. <laughs> I can't right. go through it, I take it. Correct. Can you I go diagonally? Go yes, you totally can. So, so whoops. One, two, three. Stop. Mm. Once you get there, make an acrobatics check. For right. Me. That's uh, seven. Uh -huh. Oh, you're doing uh, just fine. Plus ten is seventeen. Plenty. You can keep on moving. All right. That was three, <laughs> four, <laughs> five, five, six. six. All right. You get to the doors now. Normally, you've only spent a move action. It's a minor action to open the doors, um, but when you sort of test them, you can see that they are sealed. Right. Um, so, what would you like to do at this point? Uh, do I get a sense of whether they're magically sealed or just stuck? Uh, they look like that they are, uh, frozen shut. Aha! Let's see. It, you think that, uh, it might take some force to open them. Or heat. Or heat. <laughs> Perhaps some dark fire. Perhaps some dark fire. Yeah. Uh, can I attack doors with dark fire? <laughs> Let me take a look at your card and see what it says. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. You're playing Zork and you're typing you attack doors. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it says that the target has to be one creature. Oh. And the doors do not qualify as a creature. Uh, what else do I got going on here? Mm-mm-mm. I 
have a scorching burst, but I don't think yeah, you'd be caught in it. <laughs> Is it time to pull out my daily... <laughs> what, what is that one? Say? Jaws of the wolf. Oh, that's 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 usable against creatures to too. To bite at so. the door thusly. I hack at the door with my swords. Um, well, here's what I'm rocking. I got hit and run, hunter's quarry, shield of blades. You're of a mind based on the abilities that you have that. It would probably just take somebody strong using a strength check to try to power the doors open. Mm, okay. Um, or finding a way to melt them that is not readily apparent. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, you're pretty strong. Four is my you mod are strong. plus half level. Plus four. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, you throw yourself up against the ice and it does not budge. <clears throat> Don't worry, guys. Next turn I'll get it. Uh, so that was a move action for you and a standard to basically throw your weight against the door. Uh -huh. um, so you're basically done at this point. All right. All right. Immediately job. after Bluebell goes, this thing activates. Uh-oh. And you see it kind of rolls about on wheels and kind of scopes things out. And the, the face of this thing kind of animates a little bit and says, You don't belong here. Oh, no. Get out of and here, And it will boy. spin around, spin around, spin around. <laughs> it will stop here. And then it will breathe flame, filling up this whole corner. Is that good? Am I under you and I are <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You've got cover against wow, the flames. Wow, wow. Okay. Uh, it just shoots out this big fan of fire that engulfs the Goliath and partly the half elf. So now I'm going to make an attack roll against each of you. First against the Goliath. This is going to be against your reflex defense, which on your little card here is 12. 12. You are not Wait, the most guys. reflexy. That thing shoots fire. <laughs> we can so if it. we all had gathered by With the door in the first place, it would have melted that door. that door. All right, then it uh, attacks you, but it rolled no, horribly. It, it only rolled good. a nine. <laughs> Great. So you duck out of the way of the flames. <laughs> Against the half-elf who's got cover, it rolled a uh, 14 minus two for your cover is 12. Does 12 hit your reflex? Well, 12 is my reflex, so therefore I win. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that's not the way it works. Unfortunately not. You sort of peer around and get fire in your face. <laughs> What's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, you take eight points of fire damage, and that comes off your hit points. So confused. This is a bad day for the <laughs> All right, and then it stops. And then the next... I feel a ballad coming on. <laughs> next is Jaundice the Mauve. Okay, so I just saw that happen. Yep. Um... All right, so my, my priorities have changed. Um, I'll take, I've seen my friends go sliding around, so I'm gonna take a sideways step and one into the room. Do any of us have um, flight, by the way? Have what? Just thinking out loud. If we oh, could the wizard. like float around this room. Then I have a floating disc ritual, mm. yeah. Yeah, you've also got a cantrip called light, which you can like place on your staff or on another object. It's one of your blue cards. Oh, to create light. Yeah. So I can create light. How is the light in here, by the way? Is it only the light of the it's flame only, right now? It's pretty much the light of your torches. Okay. Um, torches. And what were you saying about floating? I was just saying, you're going to have to roll that acrobatic <laughs> thing. You're going to end up like old steel diamond. I know. Skidding across the floor. I'm going to try a... Uh, I, I would like to... Can I, as a minor action, take a moment to look at that thing and try to discern something about it with like a dungeoneering or something? Have I ever seen Absolutely. something like this? Absolutely. Uh, Either Dungeoneering or Arcana, whichever you prefer. Okay, um, my Arcana is plus 10 and my Dungeoneering is 6, so I'll do take the 10. 25. Okay, uh, that's a fantastic roll. You know that this is an, what's called an Arcane Ballista. It's, it's an Arcane Ballista! It's a semi-sentient construct, and so it does have an intelligence, although it's probably evil.